Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how I can use ArcPy and Python to copy shape files from one folder to another or from one location to another. And before I start, I would like to mention that this video will be a part of a course that I'm going to create in udemy.com about Python and ArcPy. It will be a very detailed course and I will be offering coupons to take the course for free for a limited time. So if you are interested, please subscribe to this channel to be notified about the course when it is available. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So if I click on the start menu, all programs, ArcGIS, Python, and select the IDLE. And this is really important that you run your Python code through the ArcGIS folder. Otherwise, the ArcPy package won't be recognized unless you do extra modifications. If you are familiar with IDLE, this is what is called a shell and to open a new file to write the whole script click file new file then you can write your own script and before I start writing the code I would like to show you that I have downloaded these three shape files DC parks golf courses recreational facilities under the input folder which is under the C drive and I'm going to export the data into this empty folder called output and it's again under the C drive okay so first we need to import arcpy this is the package from Esri import date time and this is a module from Python and we're gonna use it so we can attach the date or the current date to each file that we are going to backup and now we need to set two properties under the environment class under the arcpy package so we have arcpy dot class name dot pro the first property is called work space and we set it to the input folder so through the code arcpy will be reading from this folder the other property is called over right output and the default of this property is false i'm going to set it to true just in case if we need to rerun the code then we can specify the output folder as a string c output by the way the workspace property here is of a string type as well then we are going to use a class under the arcpy package named list feature classes and this class would create a list an object list of all the shape files under a specific folder or feature classes under geodatabase shape files arcpy dot list feature classes okay. so this is the object that is being created from this class now we can iterate through the object since it's a list so if I say for sf in shape files and I assume that you're familiar with Python so this is how you write a for loop if I say print sf I would assume that the code will print the names of the shape files under the input folder. So if I click run here under the run menu, one module, I need to save it first. So I have a folder here to save my code and you can save it anywhere you want since the input and the output folders are specified in the code. I just name it backup shape files.py and you have to specify that .py here in Windows click save so now we wait for the output okay we have the three shape files under the input folder okay let's continue we're going to use what is referred to as a tool in arcpy package so we have many tools and one of the tools is called copy management arcpy dot copy underscore management the copy management tool requires two parameters the first one is the input and we have the sf as the input the output i'm going to write some code i'm going to explain it after output folder plus sf 0 to negative 4 plus underscore plus str date time dot date dot today plus dot shb basically what i'm doing is string concatenation so first the uh, output folder so i'm creating the whole path then the first portion or the portion of the shape file name without the extension because i need to add the date afterward so starting from index zero and here negative four means going from the end of the string and going backward four times so it's neglecting the dot shp because it's negative one negative two negative three negative four all right 
then I'm concatenating an underscore here, then here, the date time module we imported at the beginning it has a date class and from the date class if i select the today function the today function will return today's date since this is a date object i need to cast it to a string so this is why i'm using the str to cast it then i will add the shp extension now before i run the code i like to add confirmation messages i have something written here what i'm trying to do is printing that the backup is done for this date which is today then the original folder is this and the destination folder is this so let's go ahead and run the module save it these are the three messages from here and uh, it's a good practice actually to leave such messages into a log file so in case you had an error then you can refer back to it so now before I end up this video, I would like to mention that the destination and even the, the source can point to network drives or remote servers. So I'm going to try it here quickly. I'm using a Mac machine here and uh, this is Windows on parallel. So uh, through the Windows uh, operating system or Windows Explorer, this is considered as a network drive. So let's try it now. It worked. So if I go to Windows Explorer and under Networks, Mac, Home, that's the folder here, Output, I can see the share files. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And just to remind you that this video will be part of a course that I'm going to teach on Udemy.com. So if you are interested to know more about it, please subscribe to this channel. And also, I'll be uploading more videos about different technologies in GIS every now and then. Thank you very much.